Hey everyone, Mark Saltzman here. Today we're taking a look at the new Google S uh, Nexus X smartphone. This is the uh, the latest official Google phones manufactured by Samsung and available in Canada in early April among all the big and some smaller carriers as well. I think that's a first for a smartphone launch to be so widely available. I'm referring to Bell Mobility, Rogers Wireless, Telus, Mo Mobility, Videotron, and Wind all at the same time. No price just yet, but uh, this is the official, the second major official Google smartphone. As you can see, it's got a gorgeous four-inch touchscreen display, slightly curved design, so it makes it more comfortable when holding it up to your face to uh, chat. An amazing resolution. In fact, I'm going to show you the app page. And when you go to the uh, page of apps, the screen goes dark in the background, uh, the way I have it set up, anyways. And it actually bleeds right into the edges of the phone, so you can't see where that black, uh, you know, sort of plastic starts and where the screen ends. So check this out. So here it is. You can see it's got gorgeous contrast. I mean, super dark blacks when you're uh, scrolling through your apps. This is uh, also one of the first Android phones to run the new Honeycomb operating system from Google with push over the air updates. If you're an Android user, you know it could take forever to wait for an update or to have your carrier make it available. Well, now Google's in charge. They will push over the air updates to the OS when they become available. Another advantage to Honeycomb, aside from tweaked battery life, and you can get really good battery life, by the way, on this, good 9, 10 hours between charges, um, if not more. Um, but take a look at that. You can see aesthetically it's kind of neat. The apps sort of fold up while uh, they go up and down. Um, plus there are some other interface tweaks such as the ability to basically say, use your voice instead of typing what you want. So for example, you can say, send an email to you know, Jane Smith or send a text to Rob Jones or you can look for a website. You can look for a restaurant around you. You can say, where is the closest Chinese restaurant in my area, that kind of thing. Um, and there's a number of different tools that help you. Uh, it'll show you all the different things you can do. So that's kind of a neat twist. Um, even though it's made by Samsung, I do miss not having the swipe functionality. That's S-W-Y-P-E. This is when you want to use that on-screen virtual keyboard because there is no slide out or glide out keyboard here. Um, it does not have that uh, the ability to keep your finger on there and, and swipe between the different letters and let go. I find that really speeds up my typing. It's available on other Samsung smartphones that have come out over the past six to nine months, but not available on the Google Nexus S. But overall, I really do like it. So it also has two cameras. It's got one camera there and one front-facing one for video chats. I have not tried it out yet, but um, uh, it's supposed to be for you know real-time video calling with apps that support it. Uh, in the uh, Under the hood, rather, it's got 16 gigabytes of built-in memory. You can expand it, but I find that that's you know, a good place to start. Uh, and it's got a gigahertz processor, um, so it is pretty fast. Not quite as fast as the Motorola Atrix with its dual-core processor, but not fast none the least. For example, let me give you a quick demo. This is the Angry Birds game, which is free from the Android market. Let me tap it, and you'll see how fast it loads pretty good huh so definitely like near instantaneous so very good um, and um, you know that's that's basically the gist of it this is the Google Nexus S I think I've covered all the main points um, call quality is good battery life the audio quality is good as well plus it's got um, all the uh, the uh, gingerbread um, features built into it as well. So if you're a fan of Android, you like tinkering, you like the access to the less restricted Android market uh, compared to the Apple App Store, which is more of a walled garden approach, which more rigid uh, approval process and all that, then I think you're really going to like this Google phone. It's very comfortable, lightweight, a great looking screen, it's powerful, and um, I definitely encourage you to grab it, especially it doesn't matter what carrier you're, you're with you'll be able to uh, you know, take advantage of this in Canada, which is nice not having to wait. So there you have it. I'm Mark Saltzman. Thanks.